What's up everyone? Welcome back to part 3 of my mountain bike series. For this part we're gonna be basically putting new parts on the bike, fixing it and hopefully getting it to work. And all the parts arrived. I ordered more stuff through Amazon and here's all the packages. I had to go to REI. Let me bring this thing. Had to go to REI, buy some parts. Got a little toolbox. I got some lube and stuff for the bike. But I'm gonna go, first of all, I found some rims that I needed for my bike. It's a set of two for 20 bucks. So I'm gonna go get them and I'll put a clip right next to this one. And after that, we're gonna lay out everything I have and I'm gonna show you and basically tell you what I'm gonna put on the bike, what's new. Also, we're gonna do a little bit of unboxing on the whole, on everything, on the whole packages. So, let's go get those rims, and after that, we're gonna unbox and start working on the bike. What's up guys, so right now, I'm going up for some wheels, and it's a really good deal. And sorry, I barely woke up, it's kinda early, but um, if I get the deal, I'll show you guys. If not, well, we'll continue searching. But it's a it's a deal for some 29er wheels, and it's a really good deal. But hopefully the guy's there, and hopefully it is what I want. And if it's not, then I'll tell you. If it is, I'll show you guys when I get it. But right now I'm going over there, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I just met with the guy, and there you go. I don't know if you can see him in the back, but I bought him. The deal was crazy. Um, he, I think he's into mountain biking because his post had a lot of stuff for sale. I bought it off of uh, Facebook Marketplace, and um, he wanted twenty twenty five dollars for both uh, rims. They're twenty nine er rims. So I think you just heard him. Twenty nine er rims with stance, stance tape, and they're already tubeless ready. So I wasn't gonna run tubeless like as soon as I got the bike, but I guess it's a good opportunity to run them right now. Because um, they're ready for it, but I got him for twenty dollars. He wanted twenty five, but I brought him down to twenty. And I just met him right now. And I'm going back home, and I'll show you guys more of the rims when I get home, and I'll inspect them. Cause I didn't really look at them, but they they seem pretty good. And the guys seem pretty honest, so hopefully they're not damaged or anything. But I'll see you home, and we'll see the rims together. Okay, so I'm here in the garage, right? And I got everything. This is all for the bike. That right there, since the brown bag all this and I got a little like I wasn't gonna spend money on a, a little stand because they're kind of expensive so I saw a tutorial where you basically put this on the wall you got this pipe and this goes for the seat post and it's basically a little repair stand and um, I'll show you guys when I, once I put it but I think I'm gonna put it right here because there's space and I'm gonna pack this stuff, remove it from the packaging, and basically get started. So, let me clean up here to put the stand, and I'll be right back. I built the uh, bike stand, so let me show you guys. So it's really simple. It consists of three parts, basically. So this is like the mount to the wall, and we have drywall here, so I, it was hard to find a stud, but I found one. And these two ones, two bolts, the top and the bottom, they did go on wood, but these ones didn't. So, but it looks pretty, pretty strong, putting some weight on it. Looks like nothing's gonna happen. But yeah, so it's just, it's a three quarter flange, base flange, a galvanized pipe, 12 inch pipe. And just, uh, this is called a snap tee. I got this one from Lowe's. This was like two bucks. This was like six, and this was like seven. So like 15 bucks for everything, and it wasn't too bad. These two parts I bought from um, Ace Hardware because it was a little bit cheaper. So, but I didn't find this part. But I'm gonna mount my bike here um, after I unbox all this stuff because I can't work on it yet. So, let me get to it. So I brought a chair into the garage from the backyard, and all the stuff here that, that I'm gonna use is for the bike. Everything you see, and I need to take stuff out of the boxes and packages. So. I'm gonna take off the stuff in packages and then lay them down and then I'm gonna show you all of them and explain every single one of them. So give me a second and 
unpack everything. I mean, give me a second to unpack everything. So I got everything out of the package. As you can see right here, it's on the table. I got the bike over there, ready to be worked on. And I'm just gonna remove the things from the packages again. And I'll show you to them one more time before I start installing them. So right now everything's out of the package. I mean, everything's in the package, so let me get it out. So give me one more second and let me get it out of its other package. Before I remove everything from its package, um, let me just go over sort of all the things I bought. I bought bike tubes, 29 inch bike tubes, because it's a 29er. And I'm not going tubeless yet, because I'm just trying to get ready. I'm just trying to get the bike ready, so bought some, bought some tubes for right now. Got these REI, they were like eight bucks. I got some funny name pedals, the Fuker pedals. And they're like uh, Chester pedals, but they're half the price. And they're green to match the bike. I got a Shimano nine speed cassette because that's the one it originally comes with. So I'm gonna get that one again. And it's a 11 to 34T, if you, know, if you guys know what that means. I got the Park Tool, um, tool cassette tool. I got this RII too. Um, the tubes, this, and what else? I think, and these adapters. Because I don't have a pump, but I have a QT gasoline station really close to me, and they have free air, so, once I'm done with the bike, I'm gonna go fill up with air over there. I got these to use the the pump over there. And I got these, the, the tool and the tube. Sorry, I'm sweating. It's hotter here in the garage. I got them my REI, and it was like 30 bucks for all this stuff, so it wasn't too bad. I got a seat tube. The bike's a 31.6 millimeter uh, seat tube. Um, also, everything's gonna be down below um, in the description if you guys wanna buy it. Most of the stuff is from Amazon, so it's pretty easy. Um, I'll put it down below and this was a gift. I got a little uh, uh, Bike tool, so I'll probably strap this one on into the bike and just carry it everywhere I go. So that's good. I got uh, some Rock Bros green um, What are these called grips for the bike? They kind of match the uh, pedals. They're a little bit more vibrant. But that's cool. It's fine. I got some What are these called Presto Bob caps? And I'm gonna put purple on them. Oh, I am missing one thing. Yes, I'm missing one thing. I'm missing the caps. But I'll see if I can find them. Uh, but yeah, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, I got the seat right here. The bike seat. It's just a saddle, you know, regular saddle. Put it down below. I got some chain lube. I also got some zip ties and then I got grease for the bike just regular uh, grease I got uh, some Allen tools for the bike got a little toolbox to put everything in there but yeah that's everything I'm missing one part which I don't know where it is so I'm gonna try to find it um, but yeah uh, I'm gonna Remove everything from his package and continue fixing the bike or start fixing the bike. I went back through the packages because I opened them really quick and I found what I was missing. These are some purple uh, end caps. And so the bike is green, but it changes color to purple in the light. I'll show you guys uh, in a little bit. But I um, was missing these caps. And also, what was I missing? Oh, I was missing the headset for the car to pass. I was missing for the headset um, bolt and cap, so. I found them before I threw them away, so that's good. That was what I was missing. So, let me unpack everything now. I got my rear wheel here, right? And this is through axle, and I have a quick release axle. So, I'm gonna figure out how to remove this part and replace it with the, um, the quick release. So, uh, let's do a little time lapse because I have no idea what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna convert this to quick release. And there's really no tutorials on how to do it. So I'm gonna figure it out myself and I'll be right back because I'm gonna struggle with it. So just give me a second and I'll explain what I did and if I can solve this. 
So it's been probably like two hours since I last picked up this camera and I gave up on the wheel. It was, I, I, I don't think I can fix it. I think I have to order another part. So I'm finally moving on and giving up on that after two hours and I'm moving on to the rest of the bike. For right now, we are gonna remove these pieces. I don't know if it focuses. But yeah, there's like little like wires like holding the bike, the cables to air to the bike. But some are missing, like this one. As you can see, so I got some green zip ties and I'm just gonna zip tie this together. So I'm gonna do that first. So I finished put, putting the zip ties, there you go, as you can see. So now I'll probably do what's missing, the seat post. And then mount the bike up in the stand and put the pedals and the grips. So let me do that first. Okay, so after a couple hours, I finally got the seat post, seat post installed. It was kind of hard to put it for some reason, but it worked out. And look, you can, you can see the color shift in the paint with the light. You see how it looks kind of purple from here? And green from over here, but I'm getting kind of tired. So I've been doing this for a while, not probably like five hours and I've done nothing. So probably the next step, I'm gonna remove the front tire and then this the headset uh, bolt and I'm gonna put the one I bought and there's a the bike thing the this bike stand on the wall but yeah so I'm gonna remove this and install the new one Okay, so I changed the headset uh, cap, as you can see. Let's see if it focus. There you go, you can see it. Let's focus it again. There you go. So this little part was supposedly carbon fiber. I switched it because it was the other one, it was ugly. But now, we're gonna put the seat on the seat post. Start making this bike look complete. that and we're gonna do another time lapse start After some struggle, we did it. We installed the seat post and the saddle. And it's kind of greasy right there because I had grease in my hands, but after this whole setup is complete, I'm gonna wash the bike, so don't worry. It's not gonna be like this. I'm not gonna ride it like that. But now, we're gonna move on to the grips. And then after the grips, we're gonna do the pedals. So let's do the grips. And the grips should be easy. It's just one bolt, and I'll show you the ones I got right now. Do 
you just saw, I hit the camera by accident. But here's one. And I'm just gonna install it on this side. And then I'll do that by myself so you guys don't have to see it again. But these ones were already lock on grips, so I'm gonna store these because these are already good. Okay, so here's one. Lock on, we'll save that if the other guns get messy or whatever. And we gotta remove this cap. So remove the cap and bring the other one. There you go, we removed the cap. So now we can install the new ones, which are green. So let, let me bring it to you guys. Okay, so here's the new one. The new one has this and then the cap, this cap in, go there, right? But since this bike is green and purple, I got these, which would fit right there and should fit here. Yep. Oh, maybe not. Well, we'll see. We'll install these ones and quick time lapse and I'll be right back. Okay, so one grip is installed as you can see and we're gonna install these one, this one right here, which is the cap at the end right there. And it uses the same tool as the one for over here, so it's perfectly. So we're gonna put this right here. Like that, you see it's kind of loose. So we'll go and just tighten this one up. And it's tightening up, so just keep going. Okay, so that one doesn't work right there. Did this one work? So I think these grips are too big, so we're gonna have to move the what is it, the um, brake and the shifter a little bit to the side, which is not a problem. Should be easy. So let me move that. Okay, so we installed the the grip, and now we have to tighten this one over here, the, the brake. So I'm just gonna tighten it, do the other side, and I'll be right back. What's up, everyone? It's day two of my bike build, and it's already late, so I was doing things today, but um, we're gonna get right into it. And here's the bike so far. It has a saddle, has a seat pose, it has the grips, it has the the headset uh, cap. Right now I'm gonna do the pedals. I got some, uh, what are these called, Fugger pedals? They're like the uh, the cheaper, um, the cup, the copy of the um, Chester pedals. So we're gonna put that. Also I'm gonna remove the front wheel and we're gonna put the inner tube. And what else, just clean up around here because it's a total mess and I have to put my car in, then put my roommate car, roommate's car up, so. I'm gonna get to the pedals and I'll just show you real quick one side and then just finish the other because it's kind of boring seeing the both pedals so also I'm, I need to change the battery on this camera so let me do that real quick okay so we're gonna remove this pedal and I don't have the proper tools to remove it so we're just gonna use an, uh, an adjustable wrench the new pedals I'll show you they are Allen key so as you can see, you just put an allen key there and do it. So that's much easier. So I don't really care for these pedals because they're pretty useless. Not like these will look much better. They're bigger. They have uh, like little grips here. So just do a quick time lapse on this, removing it. So just one tight end and installing it. So you guys don't have to see both. Actually, I do have the tool to remove it. This multi tool right here. It does have a tool to remove pedals, where is it? Right there, as you can see, this just goes in the pedal. So, you put it right here, and just... Oh, 
I got it. Okay, so I had this multi tool with this little tool. It has a 15 millimeter, 15 millimeter um, wrench right here. And I didn't have anything else to remove the pedals. And these ones, you have to use this or the special tool. So after like an hour of thinking, I removed this from the multi tool. And I think you just saw it, just hit it with a hammer and they, they're basically up in the lower. So let me just take this off, make a little quick time lapse, and then I'll show you installing the new ones. There you go. I took the pedals off and we're gonna install the new ones, but we're gonna put a little bit of grease. Here you can see the what's missing the pedal. So right now it's gonna spin because the other side's heavy. So I'm gonna install this side or remove the other side first, I don't know, but um, I'll be right back and show you guys. Okay, so I got a little different angle, but here's the pedal. We're gonna, which one is the nice one? This one's a nice one. Eh, they're both whatever, but we're gonna clean it. Like that. You see, you should use a proper tool. Oh, you cannot see, wait, there you go. You should use a proper tool because you're gonna scratch up your cranks, but it's not too bad, I guess. But we're gonna put a little bit of grease on the pedals and we're just gonna install them. Okay, we got here the pedals. We're gonna put a little bit of grease. Okay, we got the grease. Put the grease down. And these ones are much nicer because you can use an eight millimeter um, hex wrench. Just put it there. Wait a second, there you go. And you can install them. So, make sure you have the right one. Put it there. We can do this on the back. And just remember these are opposites, so do it the opposite side. Okay. I'm gonna put these down like this. Like that. Oh. It's the opposite side, so just remember. have to install them super hard because it won't come off because when you pedal they'll tighten up more so there you go you got it we'll just tighten up a little bit more and we should be good don't tighten it too much because then you're going to strip them there you go and that's one side so let me just do the other side remove them install them and i'll be right back and show you the final product What's up everyone, it's day three of the bike build and right now I'm just gonna clean this mess on this table and then I'm gonna install the tire on this bike, um, I mean on this rim, right there, and then the inner tubes, but for right now I'm just cleaning this real quick and I'll be right back when this is clean. Okay, so we got my tire here and my wheel. I'm gonna install the tire and then I'm gonna install these tubes. These are 29er uh, tubes from um, REI, they were about eight bucks each. But let's unbox it real quick to see if there's anything inside. So, it's kinda, it's a nice box, it's a cardboard box. Open it like this, take the tube out, and there's nothing inside, except for the tube, no instructions, no anything. Here it is, and your, your valve. Which is nice, but I'm gonna install the tire and then put the tube on. So let's start a quick time lapse. I put a purple end cap on the bike right here. Make sure you close your valve. Tighten it up on the top. There you go. One tire done. 
needs more air, but I'm gonna do it later at um, an actual gas station. So this pump is really hard to pump with. And I don't know how much pressure or PSI it's gonna have, so I'll put this one to the side and take off the front wheel of the other one and do the same thing. And I'm not gonna record it because you saw me. So I'll get to it and I'll be right back when I'm done. What's up everyone? Day 4th or 5th of working on my bike and today I got the final part right here. The final part for the bike and hopefully this works. So it's just a little um, uh, through axle quick release adapter. So it turns the through axle to a 9mm so you can fit the skewer of a quick release. So I need to build the bike wheel, the rear bike wheel which is the cassette the uh what's it called the disc brake in this so hopefully it works because if it doesn't um i don't know what else i'm, go I'm gonna do so i'm gonna unbox this real quick and show you guys what's inside so let's just change this angle a little bit and unbox what's inside okay so we got our package here it's really light I don't know how it comes but that's the packaging and this is the adapter so hopefully this works All right because if it doesn't I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'll be right back so I just went and do a, a quick check on the rear tire and it seems to work so here's the product it's just a little adapter that goes through the through axle and my bike is quick release but so this is what it uses and it's gonna go through here right like that and it's gonna sit there and this is gonna go through the wheel but it seems like it's gonna work and there's a little bit more um, O rings inside here. There's four more, so this is just four, so that's good in case this rip or something. But this was 10 bucks, and if it works, it's totally worth the 10 bucks because that's converge your wheels to be usable with quick release, so that's nice. And this gears they have the little axles right there in the back, but I'm not gonna be able to use them, so I'll just use the skewer right there. It's black, closed, just a nice skewer, whatever you know. But this was eight bucks with the whole things like front and back. This was ten. The wheels were twenty. The cassette was another twenty. So this is ten. Let's say ten, twenty, forty for the cassette. The wheels were twenty sixty. And the district was ten seventy. So it was a seventy dollar bill for the wheel. But um <clears throat> it shouldn't be too bad because the cassette I can use again, the disc brake I can use again. If I need to use this again. The only thing I could change is the rim. Of the bike so that's good so we're gonna be installing and setting up the new wheel right now um, after this shot we're gonna go there and install this then the quick release then the cassette then the disc brake and then install the whole wheel on the bike then we need to go inflate the tires I might buy a, a pump or go to a gas station and fill it up there real quick but yeah so next shot we're probably gonna be setting up the wheel so let's go do that before we go out, I want to show you something I had. I had this light I bought back when I had my first bike. This and this light were about $25 for both. So they're not the greatest, but if I want to ride at night or whatever, this is going to be perfect. This has a rechargeable battery, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about buying batteries. But this uses the little circle batteries like that. So we're going to have to go buy some of these. Probably buy some of Dollar Tree. Because I don't know if this actually works or whatever so I'll buy the Dollar Tree the Dollar Tree batteries and if those work I'll probably buy some Walmart ones later down the line but this one's the rear one this one's a red light for the, the rear of the bike it looks like this this one's the front one this one's nice so I'll also show you these when I put them on okay so we're gonna install the adapter first and here's the adapter as you can see it and this just goes in there. Oh, this, look how satisfying that is. This goes in there. You push it down. And you push it to the other side. And there you go. Look how nice that is. Oh, is shit. Sorry for the cursing, but look how nice that is. So now we're gonna grease this up. And we got the free hub and we're gonna install the cassette and then after that we're gonna install the 
We're gonna install the brake. But look how nice it looks. Can't even see it. Look how nice it looks. Yeah, it's hard to pick up the wheel and show you. There you go. So that basically converts it to quick release, so that's gonna be nice. I'm glad it fit perfectly, as you can see. But now, it's time to install the cassette, so let me set up the camera again how it was. Like this. Okay, like that, and we're gonna put some grease right here, and then install this cassette, nine speed cassette, and then the chain, and then the... we got some grease right here, as you can see right there. And we're just gonna open this real quick. Yeah. Just grab some grease. Like that. And we're just gonna put it on the spines of this. And of this. Of this. Okay, then we put some grease. I'm gonna put the grease away so we don't need it anymore. <clears throat> now part installing this nine speed cassette and then just remember that there's this plane that's the skinnier one and I see it and you're gonna be able to see it on the cassette too so where is it Trying to line it up. There we go. It's lined up. Now, we just clean up my finger real quick. Then we just remove. There's a little protector right here. And there we go. As soon as I can install, as you can see, it doesn't come out. It's not loose or anything. And I don't know how tight this is supposed to be, but. There you go. Nice speed cassette installed. Now we'll move to the back side and install. We're gonna install a disc brake on this wheel. It shouldn't be too hard because I have it right here. But I'm gonna put um gloves because you don't want to get this dirty because then the the rotor is gonna be all greasy. It's not gonna break correctly. So I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick and then Put some gloves on and then do that. So, be right back. Here's the gloves. So I'm just gonna put them real quick. They don't really fit that well because my fingers are kind of short. But so we got our this brake right here. And it fits perfectly right there. I wish I could give you a better angle, but I think that's a little bit better. Like that. Always gonna go like this. Alright, so it should go like that. Okay, so the the wheel's built. As you can see, the disc brakes on this side, the cassettes on this. So now it's gonna be time to install this on the bike and install the chain and we should be good. Okay, so this is the rear of my bike. As you guys can see, zoom it out. That's the rear right there. We're gonna install the, the back tire and I'm excited. Cause this is what's been the hardest of this build. And here's the back tire. We got this brake. So uh, I guess let's get to it. Here's the skewer I'm gonna use for the quick release. Okay, so the brake pad's closed because the rear tire hasn't been in there. So just use a flat, a flathead screwdriver like this one, a pretty big one, and just open it. Okay, so we got the rear rear wheel on the bike, 
and now it's time to add this chain and I won't go through the process of it there's a lot of videos online that can help you and I don't think I can explain it myself because I don't really know how to so I'm gonna do this real quick and just show you when I come back or when I'm finished actually here's the chain that I got just in case you were curious what's up guys it's another day right now and I bought a pump as you guys can see and I'm gonna fill up my tires because I had a hand pump but it doesn't really fill up that nice so I'm gonna fill them up to whatever the tire specs says it to fill it up so I'll do that and then I have to fix the shifting in the bike because that's the only thing that's messed up right now I almost had it yesterday but I had to go do something so I stopped so I'm gonna pump some air to it and I'm not gonna show you it's nothing exciting but um I'll be back when I'm like trying to fix the shifting of the bike. So after um, a couple days of trying to align the rear derailleur, I finally got it. And I just rode the bike for like five minutes maybe. And it's really, really nice. It's probably the best bike I've ridden, but I also haven't ridden many bikes, so that doesn't say much. But um, next video, I'm gonna do a bike shake and show you the bike and some nice light and so you guys can see it but for this video we're done so it's been a long time probably like a month now that i'm to this bike project but it's finally done well at least it's rideable there it does need some minor adjustments but um i did ride it a little bit and then i'll probably ride it like this for a while until i take it like a, to a bike shop that and guys that actually know how to align the stuff correctly uh but um it made no weird noises or anything when I rode it, so at least, sorry for the noise, my car is running in the back, but um, at least, I know it's not going to break on me when I ride it, hopefully, but uh, like I said, next video, we're going to do a bike check, basically I'm going to show you everything and that's going to be the conclusion of the series, maybe I'll do a little um, bike ride video, but um, I'll have to see because I don't have any GoPros or anything. Um, so I have to figure out a way how to film while riding so I'll figure that out that's gonna be next video and it's gonna be the final video for the series but if you enjoyed this video please comment like down below subscribe consider subscribing um, and thank you for following me in this journey it was fun while well, it lasted and yeah thank you I'll see you for the next video and the final video